I come to Niagara Falls, I like to think of a story of a man named Bobby Leach. So Bobby Leach was a, uh, a restaurant owner, I think, in 1911. I'm not quite sure. That's not important to the story. But uh, one of his friends one day went up to him and said, um, hey, that girl, Annie Taylor, just went over the falls in a barrel. I bet you can do that. So what did Bobby Leach do? Well, what Bobby Leach did was he went into a barrel and went right over those falls right there. What happened to him? What do you think happened to him? He lived. Actually, he did live. And historically speaking, only about half of the people that attempt that stupid stunt survive. But people mistakenly fall into the Niagara Falls all the time. Just people fall in, people commit suicide. People die from that thing all the time. And so the fact that there's actually 30 people that have survived that fall in a barrel you know, that's quite amazing. So anyways, after Bobby Leach went down in the barrel, down Niagara Falls, he took a few months to recover. He was kind of beat up, but he was, you know, in the end, he was okay. So he wasn't done there. He decided that that wasn't a daring enough stunt. So what he did was uh, he went into the Whirlpool Rapids and tried to swim in, in a rapid, in a in white water ra in pretty much white water rafting, he tried to swim in it, and uh, he wasn't successful. But he did manage to survive. He didn't swim it, but he had to be rescued. So where am I going with this? There's this thing called spiritual fitness. So in 1911, Bobby Leach went over the Niagara Falls and survived. 1926, he managed to survive swimming through white water rafting conditions. Not too long after that, he slipped on an orange peel, got gangrene in his leg, and died. What's the moral of this story? Well, Bobby Leach survived some of the most daring stunts imaginable, yet died from something so novel. What I'm trying to say here is that you never know when your day will come. I mean, I got sick randomly and I went through double organ failure. I was a healthy young adult with a six pack and I was perfect. I was perfectly healthy and fine. But uh, you just never know when your time will come. So spiritual fitness is, if you are a God person, just make sure you're right with God. Make sure you're right with your family. Make sure you always tell your loved ones that you love them before you go. I know it's, it's so, so cheesy and stuff, but, and I'm not one of those people that gives, you know, those mindset kind of videos. I'm usually just a business person, but it's it's something to think about whenever I come here. Whenever I come to this beautiful place here. Is that the, there are very, very, very simple things that can end your life that you will never see coming. Yet there are some daring things that you may not do, you may not want to risk, you may not want to try because you fear death, you fear punishment, you fear whatever, and you might regret it. It's really cold out by here, by the way. It is like negative 10, negative 15 Celsius. This is like, ugh. Anyways, I got to kind of wrap this up. So spiritual fitness, pretty much just make sure you're right with all the people around you. Make sure that you know that at any time you could die. Make sure that you live life to the fullest. You take risks. You you go all in into ventures that you want to do. Anyways, just be right with your loved ones. Um, I love you all. You're all very beautiful people. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.